Hello guys, how are you? How are you doing? How are you feeling? I thought it'd be a fun idea today to do a little fashion video. I did a poll over on my Instagram. Follow me if you're not already. And you guys decided that fashion videos are your thing recently. I was really feeling story time, but you know, like I do this for y'all. So if you want fashion video, you got a fashion video. So I thought it'd be fun to sit down here with you today and go through some 2021 fashion trends. Now this is courtesy of The Trend Spotter. Check their blog out. I will be using one of their blogs that states the top 10 fashion trends of 2021. I really wish I could rate like 1 out of 10 or something, but like I'm too indecisive for that. So we're just gonna say yes or no for this, okay? Let's get started. So the first fashion trend of 2021 is oversized shoulder pad boyfriend jackets. Now, First things first, I didn't even know this was a trend this year, but apparently it is according to this vlog. And absolutely that's gonna be a no for me. <laughs> if you guys are new here, or if you missed my video on hiding my body for many, many years, I don't remember how many years it was, but it was like most of high school. I used to wear a lot of either baggy clothes or layers and stuff like that. And I am not about that anymore. Like I am proud of my body. I like showing it off. I feel empowered when I'm showing a lot of skin, so like this wouldn't be necessarily something that's gonna do that. It's not flattering for me. I don't like it. I feel like I'm swimming in it. I don't necessarily like clothes like that. I like form-fitting clothes. Like even this shirt's a little loose, but it has a little bit of, you know, peekaboo action and it's just like classy looking, but I could never wear something that's like baggy where like my silhouette isn't even you know, I mean, never say never. And I will put a disclaimer out for this video that if I bash or love a trend in this video, that doesn't mean anything for future me. This is right now me, okay? <laughs> because I feel like I've done that before where I have a certain opinion and then I, I change. I am constantly evolving and constantly changing. But as you can see, I'm wearing a shirt that cinches in at the waist. Like that's just my style. I'm super girly and this is very, masculine for me so that's gonna be a no next black face masks guilty it just goes with everything it's the one mask that you can rely on no matter what you're wearing you can just throw it on nothing about it whereas other colorful masks or pattern masks like they won't go with everything so it's a little harder and i know right now they're suggesting you use a surgical mask and whatnot but i'm definitely yes that's a yes for me. Black face masks can be worn with casual outfits, formal outfits, semi-formal outfits, like going out outfits, staying in outfits, even though nowadays we all wanna go out, we don't wanna stay in no more. But if you live in Ontario, you know that indoor outings have just, that don't make no sense, indoor outings. Do you know what I mean? Like you don't have to eat outside and you don't have to do everything outside anymore. You can do things indoors. So I feel like the black mask is just a staple. It's just a classic. 10 out of 10 I would recommend, yes. Next trend of 2021 is one you would have seen me actually wearing in my last video, which is headscarves. I am loving the headscarf trend. I've always loved silky headscarves. I've just never like purchased them for some reason. I love wearing them on my head. I love wearing them as a top. I love wrapping them around a handle of my purse and putting them on there. They're just so versatile and they can be used for so many things that they're one size fits all, you know, cute and form fitting and like the little triangle moment. I love that one. And funny enough, I was having a little hair dilemma before I started filming this video because my hair just didn't know how to act, but we got it together a little bit. I did what I could do. My fresh shower hair never wants to cooperate. Like it's always so frizzy. I don't know why, but you know, recommend me some uh, hair products down below. But anyways, yeah, the head scars is definitely a yes. I love this one. It can be so luxurious and it's such a cute accessory to have on your head if you don't want to do your hair or if you just want to spice up your outfit a little bit. It just looks great. And I was surprised at how well it looked. How well it looked? How good it looked <laughs> with all my bathing suits from my last haul video. Headscarves are a yay. The next 2021 trend is actually ironic because I'm wearing one right now and that is sorbet pastel tones. I didn't know they were referred to as sorbet pastel tones nowadays. I just thought it was just pastel colors. This kind of color used to be more of a spring shade. The pastels were kind of, you know, in trend in springtime usually for the last couple years and now it's just an all year round thing and I love it. It's not too flashy, it's not 
too boring. It's just like cute, feminine, delicate, and it can be really classy. You can dress it up, you can dress it down. I'm wearing this shirt with pants right now, but I really like wearing it with shorts as well to dress it down a little bit, throw on some sneakers. Like it's just very cute. I feel like a lot of women have been going back in time with the little dainty, delicate pieces of clothing that make you feel super cute and feminine, light, airy. Like you could wear this to a tea party. I love it. I love being super girly, so I'm all about that. Sorbet pastel colors is a yes. The next one, strangely enough, is yellow bags. I'm not too sure about this one. I haven't heard of or seen this one either, but I what I have heard of, and I wonder if it's gonna be down the list on this 2021 Trends blog, is kind of wearing accessories whether that be a scrunchie or a bag or little mini bags are super trendy, so I wonder if that's gonna be in here too. But just wearing accessories that match your outfit, like the same exact color. And I used to be huge on this when I was younger, so I'm actually surprised that it's back. But kind of that monochromatic moment, like if I'm wearing a purple shirt, I'm gonna be carrying a purple purse with a purple scrunchie and purple shoes or some kind of element of purple somewhere else. Sets are also a thing, and now I'm listing off a bunch of trends that might be in this blog, but this just reminded me of that because I haven't really seen the whole yellow hype. For that reason, just because it's yellow, like I'd rather the matching colors, so I'm gonna say no to the yellow bags. Because yellow doesn't really go with a lot of things, like it can go with white, it can go with black. I don't know, maybe I'm not that fashion forward to like know what to wear yellow with, but I don't actually own a lot of yellow things or clothing. The next trend of 2021 is the folk inspired coats. Also haven't heard of this one and this is probably because it's more runway specific and runway focused but this is a little too baggy for me, too non-form fitting. I usually don't like these types of patterns that are like how, how do you say like just too much going on too much colors like it just drives away from you It's too distracting to wear what I do like is a pattern such as this one in pants because bell bottoms are back So I really like those like hippie looking super tight leggings, but they're like bell bottoms at the bottom You know what I'm talking about? Maybe I'll find a picture and put them here I really like those because I think they make your butt look good and they flatter my little skinny body So folk inspired coats is gonna be a no the next trend on the list is the white knee-high boots. Now this is such a flashback to like Spice Girl days. It's also like the platform boots and stuff like that. Like I am loving that. I always loved that as a kid and as grown, I was gonna say grown child, <laughs> grown adult. I love white. White is one of my favorite colors to wear, even though it is one of the most dangerous colors to wear. If you know, you know. But I am very specific about knee-high things because I have such skinny little legs. If the knee-high boots meet my knee and my knee's like this big and the boot is like this, like it, it doesn't look cute. It just like makes me look skinnier than I really am, which I don't really like. I don't like things that make you look either, you know, skinnier or bigger than you actually are. I like my body looking the way it is, with the exception of the boobies and the booty because those gotta look good. But <laughs> generally speaking, if I can find the right pair, the white knee-high boots is a yes for me. The next trend on this list is yellow and camel color styling. Haven't heard of this. Maybe I don't watch enough fashion shows, <laughs> but I haven't seen this around with any influencers or anyone on social media really wearing this. I have seen the nudes though. I have seen the browns, the nudes, the beige, all of that and I love that color scheme. I think it's very flattering for any skin color. However, I will say the industry is a little bit lacking on the amount of nude shades. I know that some companies, like some underwear companies have been trying to combat that and have way more shades available for all kinds of skin colors. The skin colors is skin shades. Please forgive me if I'm saying the wrong term, but nevertheless, love the nude moment. Super trendy, super cute. I feel like there's a certain like elegance to it, but it does lose points for me with the diversity of the nude shades. However, that being said, because I am only into the nude and not the yellow and nude trend that this is referring to this trend is gonna be a no for me the next trend on the list which is the second last one is the pop blue accessories now I love this one 
I love blue. There's so many shades of blue. It's the color of the ocean. It's the color of the sky. Like, I just love the color blue. I'm surprised it's not my favorite color. I'm actually wearing my favorite color, but not necessarily lilac, but purple. But I definitely have seen this trend going around. Blue is really popular for accessories, whether that be a hat, purse, rings, um, jewelry, sunglasses. Blue is considered a very happy color, usually for fashion, especially this pop of blue, like a royal blue has been coming back into effect, which is one of my bathing suits from the Pink Dial Exotic Summer 2021 collection. Shameless plug, you already know, link in the bio. I'm not on Instagram, link in the description. But a bright blue is a definite beautiful color and it brightens up any outfit so for that reason this one's gonna be a yes the last trend and i'm kind of disappointed that this is the last one i feel like i could have found a better list of trends because there's so many trends i can think of up off the top of my head that weren't in this list and maybe i should do better research before i start filming these videos but let's just assume that this list was based on fashion runways because i haven't seen this one either but we're gonna we're gonna do it anyway, okay? So last one is fringing on the bags, as you can see here. Again, haven't seen it either. Am I just like living under a rock? Like, have you guys seen this? I, I don't know. But apparently this is a thing and I don't have anything against it, but I don't see it as very practical. I don't see it as convenient. I don't think it really adds that much to your outfit, especially matching this purse would be a little bit difficult for me, I feel like. It's not as versatile as another bag that may not have the fringes on it so for that reason i'm gonna say no to the fringing on the bags and that was all the 2021 fashion trends on this vlog i wish like i said i would have picked another vlog not gonna lie no shade no tea to the trend spotter but there was a lot of trends that came out this year that would have been really good to mention and i did mention some of them but i didn't get to go too much into them so let me know if you guys want me to make a part two of this fashion trends rating kind of video it was really fun i really like looking at fashion related topics but i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give it a big thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already because it's free and i will see you guys